Hey, it's Lynn Saxberg reporting for Face the Music at OttawaCitizen.com. I'm at Blues Fest, and it, we're inside the Barney Dance and Theatre in the dressing room, actually. There's been a couple of strange sounds coming out of this theatre. People might have noticed as they walk by, and there's going to be some more strange sounds. It's part of the a new feature of Blues Fest this year. It's the Electric Eclectic series, and Gordon Monahan is partly responsible for that. This is Gordon and his lovely wife, Laura. Ka -ka -ka. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, Electric Eclectics, that is also a festival that you run. Tell us about it. Well, we're uh, into our third year now. It takes place on our farm, which is outside of Meaford, Ontario. Mm -hmm. It's two hours northwest of Toronto. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes place August 1st to 3rd. It's the, it's the long weekend uh, of, of August every year. Mm -hmm. It's three days and nights of camping and concerts, experimental music, sound art, sound installation, mm -hmm. uh, media art, interactive uh, media art installations as well. Oh. And, and irritainment. <laughs> and irritainment. <laughs> what is irritainment? <laughs> it's a cross between entertainment and irritation. So it's the morphing of the two. It's things that are so bad that they're so good, or that they're so, so good, good that they're, they're so, so bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Who are some of the artists you've got coming to Blues Fest then to give us a taste of the electric eclectic stuff? Well, we started out last night with Alexis O'Hara, who's mm -hmm. from Montreal. She does sampling, um, vocals, uh, singing. She calls herself the, the Phyllis Diller of experimental music. <laughs> uh, tonight and tomorrow night, we're doing John Kilduff, Let's Paint TV. He's yeah. a big, big, cult star on, big, big star, cult star on YouTube. Um, he paints and exercises uh, at the same time. He blends drinks, takes questions and answers from the audience, um, or answers wow. and questions it's very as well. Multitasking. <laughs> multitasking, <laughs> yeah. try to do as much as, and we have a background of live experimental music going along with his uh, painting process. Mm -hmm. It's all a kind of tongue-in-cheek performance art. Then we've got on Monday night, um, Analog Society, which is a combination. I'm also participating in that group. The other artists are from New York. Uh, Larry Seven, who will be playing um, his concretophone, which consists of reel-to-reel uh, -reel tape loops uh, pasted onto uh, a canvas that he plays with a tape head. Mm -hmm. um, Dort Chrysler will be playing theremin in that group, and Michael Evans uh, on drums, and I'll play the organ. We'll be doing some experimental noise uh, yeah. improvisations. Sounds like a bit of a super group in the yeah. field. This will be the super, <laughs> super group, all right. Yeah. Wow, we'll have to be there for that one. Um, now, this is going to introduce people to a lot of new sounds. Some people will like it, some people probably won't. What is the mission from your perspective? Well, it's kind of to expand the awareness of noise and experimental music because it has been going on for many decades. Mm -hmm. uh, and the audiences have grown from very small numbers in the 50s to much larger numbers now, especially with the younger generation. Um, when you go to events in, in a lot of major cities around the world, you'll see a lot of experimental and noise music festivals taking place. Mm. It's partly uh, to do with the rise in technology in our society and the mm. more, you know, the internet has made everyone aware of a lot of different things that they were not being shown by the mm. normal media uh, prior to the mid-90s, let's say. Mm -hmm. And so in the last 10 to 15 years, we've had a real uh, increase in awareness of alternative forms of art and, and music, and this is one of them. Mm -hmm. and, cool. and I think it's also, it's not about the populace, like it's not about uh, having, it's not a mainstream idea anyway, it's much mm -hmm. more intellectually challenging in, on one side. Mm -hmm. And then also even the last group, the Nihilist Spasm Band, they're... Mm -hmm. uh, I tried to listen to them. <laughs> yeah, and me too, but when you see them, it's so, it's a whole different thing because they're so endearing and, and they're really started a movement uh, and they've been performing since 1965 yeah, yeah. wow they're, they're the, veterans they're yeah. the yes. grandfathers of experimental yeah. of, of like noise the stone music right. <laughs> yeah and yeah and so yeah they're well they're they're so actually really becoming following. recognized as mm -hmm. pioneers in the genre um, for instance they opened for sonic youth uh, a couple of years ago and okay. you know sonic youth comes out of the noise actually the no wave uh, movement in new york from the late 70s early 80s Mm -hmm. uh, where it was a deconstruction of, of punk music that led to uh, cross-platform uh, integration of, 
what was had already been taking place in experimental improvised music and combining with punk that was how sonic youth came about mm -hmm. and then the more they got into it and and they 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 wanted to present uh, the more famous they became they wanted to present their influences and the nihilist spasm man indeed was an influence on sonic youth right cool and I think even with no Neubauten, because one of the performers from Neubauten is here too with his wife uh, doing a performance on Thursday? No, that'll be uh, Saturday. Saturday, sorry. Saturday, July, <laughs> Don't let you. Saturday, July 12th yeah, will be Alexander Hacke and Danielle DiPicciotto yeah. from Berlin. Okay. And Alexander is a founding member of the Einstritzen and Neubauten group in Berlin, which uh, pioneered industrial music mm -hmm. uh, beginning in uh, 1981. He's a real fountain of knowledge on this, isn't oh, he? Oh, yeah, he's better at that, that part, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, we're um, going to wrap it up now, okay. but thanks very much. And, uh, and don't one miss, more thing. Don't miss Doric <laughs> Chrysler during her theremin performance on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, you'll be sad if you miss that one. <laughs> okay, we'll try yeah. to be there. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you. <laughs>